programs, you can always like run it with minus minus help and get like a very big list of options that you have. But um, the MRI GLM fit 101 would be something like this, where you would specify uh, the input, right? In this case, this is the smooth version, SM10, it means that we smooth it with a 10 millimeter uh, kernel. Um, then this would be FSGD, the preserved group descriptor file, which is where it gets the design matrix from. These are the contrasts. We can have more than one, like I said. HMTX and the gender MTX is like just text files that say 0011, that's it, or whatever it is. Um, this is, uh, these are two options to specify that we want to run the analysis on the surface using FS average in the left hemisphere. Um, Cortex, uh, it's, uh, it tells the, the program that it's going to use cortex.label to, to mask the analysis, uh, essentially to leave out the, uh, the inner wall of the hemisphere, right, that we know is beneath us. And uh, this is just the output. The output is a directory where the program will write uh, all the all the information that we want to display afterwards. Okay. This is moving line. Uh, so that's the first. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, so, yeah. Your, your smooth structure there. Right. Yeah. The, the, the thickness overlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the question is like, what's smooth here? Yeah, yeah. So the. This is coming from uh, this idea, right? So we have a thickness map defined on the surface, and that thickness map can be noisy, so you can smooth it on the surface first. Uh, again, yeah, that's highly recommended. It's going to increase the power of your analysis. And, uh, and you don't have to do it explicitly. Well, if you do the QCache thing, you don't have to do it explicitly. QCache will write uh, smooth data, I think smooth at two or three different label, uh, levels, I think. Um, so you can choose if you want to analyze your, uh, you know, data without smoothing. Like if, <coughs> here, if I just wrote thickness.mgh, I would be analyzing the, uh, like the data without smoothing. And, uh, and that's is that normalized, or is it really like in like a in like a specific normalized space for your all of your subjects? Yeah, that'd be a average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what's happened. Yeah, that's when you gather the data with uh, MRI Spring Proc. One of the things that's happening is that it's resampling onto this common space. That's why you need to run the recon first because it's going to use this uh, spherical, uh, this registration in spherical coordinates to map everything to a test average. Um, so yeah, after you run uh, MRI DLM fit, it's going to create this directory, and in this directory. You're gonna have like all these interesting files with uh, beta and the uh, variance. You can explore this later in the tutorial. And it's also going to create one subdirectory per contrast. In this case, because we had minus C H uh, MTX and minus C gender MTX, it's gonna create two subdirectories, H and gender. And within each one, we're gonna have the significance map, which is what we are usually interested in. So we can visualize these guys uh, with the TK Surfer or Freeview. Uh, if you if you use, uh, you can also do it with QDeck afterwards, as we'll see. But you can generate like these pretty maps that we were talking about. And actually, if you load the FSGD file, uh, you can also get the demographics. We we'll go through this later, pretty much. Um, and you can actually like click on the on the surface and see the distribution of, of your subjects at that particular, of the thickness at that particular uh, vertex. So I think we have a break now, uh, or through the tutorial. I think there's a break in the tutorial. Um, but in the tutorial, essentially, what we're going to do is to use the, if you guys remember the data in the beginning, like the 40, the 40 subjects, you guys are going to um, create the FSGD file for a thickness study, and uh, you're going to run it, and you're going to see what comes out, which is going to be pretty much this. And you can play a little bit with, uh, you know, visualizing the data, like playing with the thresholds and the saturation to create pretty plots. And um, that's it. Yep. So the, 
Is there a break now? So there's a break now until uh, 1040, and then you work on the group analysis tutorial, and then Eugenio will be back up to discuss uh, multiple corrections for multiple comparisons.